Dodge this! No, my sword! Freeze! Mage was defeated, a certain energy dispersed from its body. It seems that energy was being used to cut off the connection between me and Duvali. Huh. Do you know of Storm Terror's leg? But Jane and Master Diluc are no doubt aware of it. After Duvalin woke up, he took the ancient ruins as his lair. As it was with the storms that previously cut Mondstadt off from the outside world, the entrance to the ruins is also sealed by a special barrier. But now, as the energy dispersed from the Abyss Mage, I was able to read the rhythmic flow of how the barrier's magic was woven. <laughs> I must admit, it sounds even more horrendous than a chorus of hilly churls, but it should be enough to let us break through the storm barrier and reach Storm Terror's lair. Which means we're going to confront Dvalin? I'm fine with that. Jean is the one who wishes to avoid any direct confrontation. No. When there are no other options left, it is my responsibility to alter our course of action. If slaying him is our only choice, I will gladly become the knight that leads the charge. Fortunately, we have yet to need to go that far. Hmm? By that, you mean... I mean that the Holy Liar is not our trump card. Our real trump card? The Traveler, of course. The Traveler? Well, you could say that. You're definitely a force to be reckoned with. But you have a much more precious forte. The impurities in the tears and the curse that binds Dvalin belong to the same Maleficent power. Which means... You tone-deaf bard, don't you see how crazy this is? You've seen what Dvalin is like when he's ticked off? She'll be swallowed whole before she even gets to lift a finger! Hey, nice plan. Worth a shot. I am with you, honorary knight. Oh, so we just need to fight monsters from the abyss and a dragon. No pressure or anything. Humans aren't without their strengths. Let's go. And so, epic actions of brave heroes finally leads to this 11th hour. <laughs>